Good morning guys, welcome to Thursday. Today is Lucky Thursday. I don't know if it's gonna be lucky, but you get what you ask for. Did you guys know that in this world? You get what you ask for. So if you think today is gonna be lucky, it's gonna be lucky. Today in homeschool, Gabby has decided that she's gonna use some material that we have bought recently, left over, and she is going to make, she's gonna make some stirrup covers for her stirrups. She did this before when she was just first learning how to sew. She's a better sewer now. She's gonna try again. She's gonna do something extra special. Tell them what you're doing, Gabby. Stirrup covers. I know, but tell them why these ones are special. Uh, because it's been a year since I've sewed the last ones. Right, but what are you doing with this? How come you have two pieces of material here? Uh, this one's gonna be a liner. Yeah, so she's gonna make a nice fleecy I don't know if that's fleece. A nice soft liner, and then she's going to put these dogs and bone material on top. So it'll be two layers. She's going to do two layers together. She's taking her sewing to a whole new level, and Sophie's going to learn to do some sewing I'm doing by a mask. Yeah, by hand. She wants to try and sew something by hand, which hand I sewing. I don't know how to hand sew because remember at horse camp. Yeah, well anyway, we're going to try and take that to the next level too. We are the next level family. But like I was saying before, did you guys actually know that you get what you ask for in this life. If you're constantly saying, oh, that will never happen for me. I would never win. Sometimes people say that. I would never win. I never win. If you say you're never going to win, then you're never going to win. You have to believe it, dream it, to achieve it. You're going to win $25 million. Why do you say that? Because I want you to. Because she wants me to. You and never know. That you will. Yeah, she believes it. You but have to dream it and believe it to we achieve actually, it. We actually there are so many things that I want to share with you guys to help you unlock your dreams, unlock the life God has planned for you, but there's never any time. I've ne that's the story of my life, no time. Maybe I should start saying I have all the time in the world. But before we get on with today's video, I do want to say one thing. I want to explain to you how everything that you want will come to you in the right timing. Sometimes we get so locked up in that we want it now and we don't want to wait, but that is the way that God's magic works. You have to wait, you have to tell him, you have to dream it, you have to believe it, and then you have to sit back and you have to wait. Have you ever had one of those experiences where you've tried to do something over and over and over and no matter what, it just doesn't work? Well, I have tried to get a saddle for Penny every single day. I have tried to get to contact a trainer that I'm friends with 17 times and never can I contact her. And it's the simplest thing, but it's like something is holding me back and preventing us connecting. And I've learned in the past, and I want you guys to know that sometimes things happen Things aspire to keep you from where you want to go so that you will go in another direction, if that makes sense. Every experience in life is designed to get you where you want to be. Every single one. But Laura, bad things happen to me. But imagine if the bad things that happen to you are designed to get you to the best place. Sometimes the bad things have to happen to get you on the right path where God wants you to be. All I ask is that you think about it and try it out. Go out there and be positive and believe it. Believe it, you guys. So, I'm gonna make my mask out of this. It's cute llamas. I got to choose it. I love it. All right, so Sophie's gonna make a mask. She's gonna try her, her skill at making a mask today. My house is never quieter than when the girls are sewing. Until a problem arises, what happened? Did it get stuck? Yes. Okay, so it's easy to fix. I know it seems like we're just staying inside doing nothing all day today, but we're not. I'm going out to ride Penny very soon. I just wanted to show you that Gabby finished her first stirrup leathers. Cover. I think, cover. Yeah, leathers. I think we should have done something besides this. Like a heavier It's elastic. not going to hang from that. It's just going to stay tied up while oh. the stirrup leather hangs from it. Oh, okay. Because they're attached to the saddle, so the okay. stirrup leather goes through there and holds all right. it. So she decided to do, she didn't have enough material, so she decided to do nice, warm, cozy stirrup covers. And then she this put... because this part lets it still scratch your saddle. So. Yeah, so then she added the little puppy material on the top, and I really like it. I think it's adorable. It's almost done her second one. So the girl who won the Blue Bay Boutique needs to message me again. I got a message from the girl. That was the last package I have to send out. Um, the girl messaged me again and said, hey, I messaged you, or here's my address, 
So I said, okay, great. I'm going to send that out tomorrow. And then by the time I woke up, all my messages were buried by all the new messages that came in. That's the struggle, you guys. That's my big struggle. So I need you to send it to me again so that I can mail it out. Like, I really want to get it to you. So send me, if you want the Blue Bay Boutique, send me your address again, please. I'm sorry. I missed it. Willow was taking a nap and then she got up. Sam is home today, so he took the girls to go and take the blankets off the boys because it's actually kind of warm outside. Actually, it's not as warm as I thought it was gonna be, but, whew, it's cold for me. But it's warm enough for our horses to not have to have their blankets on. Oh, what's happening in here? Hey, you guys want your blankets off? I honestly don't think it's that warm. Hi. Hi, Willow. Hi, Pen. She was looking for me today. Hi, Gracie. Hi, guys. We are here at the barn. We're going to have to hold him with his halter on so I can take his blanket off because he's going to run away from me. Is he? Yeah. Because I can barely catch him to ride him. He runs away. They'll all be happy to get their blankets off today since it's so nice. Grab one for Finn. Anyways, I'm full of hay because I just did the hay at home. We're going to go get the horses. We're just taking them off in there, out in the field. I see them already. Oh, one horse I'll see them all. Dino. Who's that having a nap? That's, That's some weird horse. All right, we're taking off blankets. Oh, there she is. I had to close the door. It's that, it's that cold. Look what I brought for you today. Something new. I haven't been giving her apples. This way. I don't know how to do it. There we go. Our horses are all trying to take a bite of the apple. Gracie's like, get me some! <laughs> and I see some cat foot prints. Whoa. <laughs> She's like, give it to me. Good girl. So I haven't been giving her apples because I worry about her having ulcers. Oh, I wasn't recording. Anyways, we're taking the blankets off. I'm not sure if we're gonna take off Oakley and Texas as well. Cause it's super nice out. That was easy. Huh? So that was easy for you. Well, I didn't know if he was gonna run away. So I you thought he was gonna run away. Well, he didn't. But he didn't. He was just hungry. He was all his friends, man. He was just all his friends. Gabby found Chino. And Chino's blanket's off. Hey, Chino. I was taking off Storm's blanket. Hey, Fanny boy. We are gonna wait until they tell us about Tex. There's a horse here and it's coughing. It was lying down. Sorry, it's so dark. Okay, so I have the old camera, so I'm not sure exactly what the settings are at. But Sam just loaded us up with new hay. Put some hay here. This is for the girls for lunch. I'm coming, Pen. I'm bringing lunch. Okay? She's following me. Sometimes she's... St I, it's cold out. I have to run up to the house and tell Sam not to take off their blankets because it's supposed to be 10 degrees today, but it's cold. It can, in Canada, it can be 10 degrees and be feel like minus five, like that's how crazy it is here. So I have to run up to the house and phone him before they take off the blankets, but I wanna feed the horses before I go up there because I want Penny to eat before I ride her. Do you know this is like the South Axe kids? Still licking his tongue. Gabby brought some Sour Patch kids to give to the horses and- Oh, Finn hit a Sour Patch kid. Finn likes it. Chino loves them. Did you try and give one to Storm? Yeah, Storm had one. Does he like them? No. Storm doesn't like it. Storm is a picky horse. Really like and, and Tex is like, take off my blankie. Take off my blankie, guys. All right, Gabby's gonna check to see if he's sweating. If he's sweating, we're gonna take the blanket off. I'm more concerned about Oakley because he's got two blankets on. Yeah. He's fine? All right. Yeah, Storm is hotter than him. Because Storm's mostly black. 
All right. Well, let's go and then we'll come back if they text me. Take, take a photo, Tino. He's so adorable. Tino's way over there, just standing around doing nothing in the woods. Tino's out there all by himself in the woods. So what I was saying about Penny and the apple is that, so uh, you guys know that Penny's girthy, but she's not really girthy. She's more grouchy than girthy. And, come on. And so she's been on a Meprazole, which is the medication for ulcers for ever since like the day, a couple days after she came home. So, it's freezing. So, she hasn't changed. Like nothing has changed. Nothing's gotten better. Nothing has changed. If she had ulcers, you would think that something would change and she would she would definitely change. There are a bunch of other theories that I have why she could be grouchy. But I wanted to not give her any apples or any like really acidic kind of stuff, treats, because I acid can really exacerbate the problem of ulcers. So anyway, I gave her an apple today because I'm pretty sure she doesn't have ulcers. Now my favorite part of the day, going to get coffee. From the coffee in the grocery store. What are you looking for? Cucumbers. 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 Oh, over here, cucumbers. There we go. Cucumbers. Three? Three? What do you need three cucumbers for? Because we're making them into sandwiches. Okay, you only need two then. But if I like it. Well, you only need two. Then we'll come back. Now we need what? Cream cheese, let's go. Cream mm. cheese. Cream cheese, cream cheese. I will put that. There it is. These cream things are cheese. small though. Well, I don't see the oh, bigger one. That's regular cream cheese though. I think they Do are. Do you want regular cream cheese? Is it better? just doesn't have the garlic stuff in it, that's all. There's the herb and garlic stuff. Then we'll get two of these. No, you don't need two. One. One is fine. One is fine. We are back at the barn and we're going to take Oakley in and check his blanket on. Wow! Alright, so now Gabby and I have to go chasing horses because they decided to not stay. There's Oakley through the trees running away from us. Yeah, Going to the field to hang out in. Oh, this is not fun at all. All right, I'm coming through the end of the field of the woods. Hopefully they're close by. Coming for you. Gabby got Texas off. Hopefully she catches Oakley before he runs off. What a long walk just to get blankets off. Should have just taken them off while we were there at the front. They make us chase you around. Make us chase you around everywhere. There you go, you're naked now. Enjoy the weather. All right, we're gonna put these blankets away and we're gonna head back home because Laura's gonna ride her horse today. Oh, the worst part is searching for them or carrying all the blankets back. Gabby's got all the blankets, by the way. <laughs> I made it, you guys. I made it, the end is near. I made it to the end. And over behind that hill are where the horses are now, see? Following us back. And there they are, those little horses followed us all the way back. They did that on purpose. They see us and they run and then they come back after they're done. All right, it's time for me to ride my girl and I'm gonna try her in a new saddle. Doesn't she look pretty? I'll clean though. Oh, Molly, get out from under her feet. So I'm gonna try and ride her in this saddle. It has like really good clearance for her spine. It's got good clearance up here with the three fingers. It's got really good clearance here. 
I don't know. People say if it sits too high up on the, the horse without the saddle pad, it's too small. If it sits too low, it's too big, which makes sense to me. This one doesn't seem to sit badly. So I guess we're gonna see. I'm gonna try it. I'm nervous. I'm nervous because I'm worried that my my seat, like my balance, has changed so much because of riding Western that I'm gonna suck and that something bad could happen. And I worry about every time I, before I get on her, I worry about it every single time I ride her. I worry that she's going to be in pain. I worry that I'm hurting her. I worry like all these things because of YouTube. If I didn't have YouTube, I would probably not even know about that stuff. But I do have YouTube and I do worry about that stuff. So, but the minute I start riding her, I just like, my, my soul just breaks out in song. That's how amazing riding her is. So hopefully this ride will be the same. Okay, so you know what Penny and I learned today? I forgot to tell you guys. So Gabby always does this crazy stuff. Like she always, she knows so big. If she has trouble getting where she wants to go, she'll like back him into the cross ties. And I am not that gifted. Penny's never really been taught as a trail horse to go backwards apparently. And that's just not me. Well today, I, had to, I was down here by myself and I had to figure out a way to get in without the pony. So I had to turn Penny around to close the door. And then she was like a little resistive. Like she was kind of like I couldn't get her turned around again. So then I just backed her into the cross ties. I backed her in from over there to here. And it was so easy. Right, Pen? You were a good girl? All right, let's go for a ride. We're going to go for a fun ride. A ride that you like. Okay? Be good to me. Okay, she said okay. Did you guys see that? She said okay. There she goes. Go for a trail ride on the property. Hopefully you don't get lost. Wanna shake the ground? Wanna break away? Let loose. I'm tired of Shout to me and you to write a story on a shape the new Do you wanna do you wanna come along with me? Come along with me. Do you wanna And we ain't got nothing, gotta do something, get it right. Gonna keep on running, grab the fun and live it live.
did not mind the English saddle at all. I don't know for sure that it fits though. Like, she clearly does not like work. When we go out for a trail, she's so excited. I don't know if you guys saw it. I don't know what it looked like, but we went on a little trail and she loves the trail, loves the trail. Can you guys see what I'm doing here? Giving her scratches and she kind of loving it. Wow, look at that. Um, she loved the trail and then when we started to go towards the arena, she was like, mm -mm, no, I'm not going there. She hated it. I had to tell her we had to go. And then she walked over two ropes on the ground. The second rope, she was like, whoa, there's a snake down there. And I said, no, it's fine. We can do it. And she's like, fine. Do you think we can do it? We'll just go over it. Like, she has a lot of games that she plays. She, she acts like she's afraid of the wood pile. And she acts, she acts like she's afraid of every rail in the arena, except the one with the door on it. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. I'm going to make Brandon come here tomorrow before he goes to lessons, and we're going to check my um, saddles. I'm, I'm making him check them. I don't care. Like, I know he's busy. I know it's hard for him, but he's coming. I can't ride her unless I, have, unless I know for sure the saddle fits. I worry the whole entire time. So we're going to do that. And I don't know why God is giving me this time with her without a trainer, without the help that I need, because I've been asking. And I know that there's a reason. I don't know what it is. I think I'm meant to learn about saddles. And maybe we're meant to just get to know each other. But I have to make sure that the saddle fits. Like, I can't not do that. And our vet is coming back again next week, very soon, to do like a reassessment of the meds that she was that she's taking and also to check her eye last time he was here i got it cleared up like see lots of times it looks so cleared up like he won't treat that which she is today and so um he's oh my gosh she's like falling asleep in my hands so you can't even see oh i love her i love you pen i love you oh sorry my helmet but anyways that is it that's all i gotta share but here's the other thing when I talk to Penny and I ask her questions and she answers me, like you guys see her answer me, I know all horses do that, but when the Penny does it, I feel something. Like, like I don't even know how to explain it, but when she answers me, I feel something and I can tell, I believe that she's actually answering me. Like, I think that horses understand much more than we give them credit for. And I think that lots of times we can speak to animals from our souls and they can speak back through their soul and I feel that happening with Penny and I know it sounds crazy but I feel it. Do you feel it Penny? Do 
you feel it? Blink once if you feel it. <sighs> Did you guys see that? <laughs> I love her. I want to ride her all the time. I never want to stop. It was windy as heck. Nobody there to help us. And we just are learning, you guys. We're just living our own world, aren't we, Penn? Yeah, she definitely tells me that she doesn't want to ride, though. That's her new thing. You ready to go out there and have some hay? Yeah? You want some more hay? Yeah? What a perfect penny she is. What a perfect shiny penny. With a crooked nose stripe. And that's another way I know that she belongs to us. We're the family of the crooked nose stripe. Aren't we, Pen? I really want to get a western saddle, though, so bad. Like, now. You want one, too? Yeah. I want to ride you everywhere. I want to go out into the world with you. Don't you know that you're beautiful?